dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingi Engineering College, Koyal Vinni. I am happy to meet you again uh, through the video lecture series on the subject heat and mass transfer. And uh, this is module number 5. We are discussing on radiation heat transfer. Uh, lecture number 4, we are going to discuss here today radiation shape factor. Uh, we recap from the previous lectures. Uh, we discussed the Stephen Boltzmann law, Wayne's displacement law, Kirchhoff's law. These are all the uh, laws related with the radiation heat transfer. And we discuss the radiation properties, the emissivity, absorbity, reflectivity, transmissivity, everything we define. And we solved a few numerical examples to understand the basic principles. And today we are going to discuss on the radiation shape factor. Uh, at the end of the lecture, the, the student will be able to define what is shape factor and uh, write down the shape factor relationship. So, in the radiation shape factor, so we are going, we are discussing the radiation heat transfer. The radiation heat exchange between the two surfaces depends on temperature, radiation properties, surface geometries, and orientation of the surface. Temperature, so radiation depends on the temperature, absolute temperature of the surface. Radiation properties, we have discussed earlier. Emissivity, absorbity, reflectivity, and for majority of the surface, engineering surfaces, transmissibility is equal to zero. In the surface geometry, the shape of the object, geometrical property, area. To calculate the area, we have to define the surface geometry and the orientation of the surface. So, this is what we are going to discuss. So, the radiation shape factor is also called as orientation factor, view factor. The orientation of the surface is the radiation in the radiation analysis is included in the form of shape factor. So the shape factor is also known as angle factor, view factor, or the configuration factor. The shape factor is the fraction of radiative energy leaving one surface that strikes the other surface directly. So, how will you define the shape factor? The shape factor is the fraction of radiative energy leaving one surface that strikes the other surface directly. When the two surfaces are exchanging heat by radiation, uh, from one surface, surface 1, the heat is leaving that strikes on the surface 2. From surface 2, the heat is leaving that strikes on the surface 1. They exchange heat by radiation. So, the shape factor is the fraction of radiative energy leaving the surface, leaving one surface that strikes the other surface directly. And to understand the orientation, we just take this diagram, uh, the uh, light, the orientation, light, light, how the, the torch, the light position, how it covers the area. The area coverage is varying. When you have 90 degree, uh, the surface area, what is covered on the surface equal to area of the light. When you have 40 degree inclination, it is 1.4 unit surface area. Uh, for one unit of light dispersed. So, yeah, for every one every one unit of light, 1.4 unit area surface area. When you have 30 degree inclination, one unit of light it dispersed over two units of surface area. So, when you have the inclination, different inclination, the, the area on which the light is falling that increases. That is what the effect of the orientation. Of course, this is only an example uh, to understand the orientation effect of orientation, but the calculation for heat transfer will be different. And this is what the geometry what we are going to take uh, for our radiation calculation, shape factor calculation. And uh, you take the area, surface area A1, and you take another area, another plate of area A2. These two are at the center, at the distance of R. So you take for the surface area A1, you draw the normal to the surface and from the normal, we measure the angle phi 1. This is the line connecting the surface area 2, A2. And here again, we have the normal and this is the angle phi 2. 
So, 5, 1, 5, 2 are the angle between normal and R. R is the line connecting the two centers. And uh, DA1, so in the total area, we take a small area which is elementary, elementary area which is DA1 and here again we take elementary area DA2. So, DA1 is the elementary area, DA2 is the elemental area, A1, A2 are the area of the surfaces, R is the line connecting the two centers and 5, 1, 5, 2 are the angle between the normal of the surface and the R. Now, the radiative energy, the rate of radiative energy DQ1 leaving the DA1 that strikes DA2. So, this is the look at the diagram. So, here the radiation is leaving. The tot in the total amount of energy leaving from the surface DA1 that is striking on the surface DA2. Now, So, the rate of radiative energy dq1 leaving the surface da1 that strikes on the da2. So, dq da1 to da2 that is energy leaving da1 that strikes on da2 equal to rate of radiation leaves da1 in the direction of phi1 into the solid angle that is da1 to da2 dq da1 to da2 equal to da1 i1 cos phi1 plus d omega 1 2. And this solid angle d omega 1 2 equal to d a 2 cos phi 2 divided by r square. So, substituting the solid angle here. So, d q d a 1 to d a 2 equal to d a 1 d a 2 i 1 into cos phi 1 cos phi 2 divided by r square. So, this is the amount of energy leaving the surface d a 1 that strikes on the surface d a 2. And uh, similarly, the total radiative energy leaving the surface. So, dq1 uh, is phi1 i1 da1. So, the elemental shear factor is the ratio of radiative energy leaving the da1 that strikes on da2 to the total radiative energy leaving the surface da1 in all directions. So, elemental shear factor equal to radiative energy leaving the surface da1 that strikes on the surface da2 divided by total radiative energy leaving the da1 in all directions. So, this is d a 1 to d a 2 equal to d q uh, shape factor d f d a 1 to d a 2 equal to d q d a 1 to d a 2 divided by d q d a 1. So, substituting the numerator and denominator will simplify cos phi 1 cos phi 2 d a 2 by phi r square. Now, the shape factor from the elemental area d a 1 to your finite area a 2. So, here you look at the shape factor is d f elemental shape factor between the elemental area da1 to the elemental area da2. Now, what we are going to calculate? Elemental shape factor from the elemental area da1 to the total area a2. So, for that we have to integrate the previous equation with respect to a2, surface integral with respect to a2. So, this is a fractional shape factor from the elemental area to the total surface area a2. Now, the total rate of radiation leaves the entire surface A1 equal to Q A1 equal to phi, phi I1 A1. So, the portion of radiative energy leaving A1 that strikes the DA2 can be determined by. So, A1 to DA2 equal to integral A1 surface area DQ DA1 to DA2 that equal to integral A1 I1 cos phi 1 cos phi 2 DA2 divided by R square which is DA1. Now, integrating the above equation over the A2 gives the radiation leaving the entire surface A that strikes the entire surface A2. So, heat radiation radiation leaving the entire surface A1 to A2 integrate this equation again with respect to A2 I1 cos phi 1 cos phi 2 will be R square into DA2 and DA1. So, this is the radiation leaving the entire surface A1 and falls on the entire surface A2. Now, the shear factor between 1 and 2. So, the radiation leaving the surface entire surface A1 to A2 divided by radiation leaving from the surface A1. So, this is 1 by A1 into double integral cos phi 1 cos phi 2 divided by phi r square into DA1 DA2. Now, similarly, shear factor between 2 and 1. So, the radiation leaving the surface A2 that strikes on the surface A1 divided by A2. This is equal to 1 by A2 double integral cos phi is the same thing but integration order is changing. 
da1 and da2 so that is the uh, equation now in general we write this is f12 this is f21 in general we write f ij that is the fraction of radiation energy leaving the surface i that strikes the surface j directly that is what the shape factor f ij normally we calculate f12 f13 f21 f23 something like that so the first letter is the surface from which the heat is leaving the second letter the surface on which the heat is falling that is what the shape factor f ij so there are some shape factor relationship first relationship first relationship is the reciprocity rule the shape factor between two surfaces f12 and f21 are related by a1 f12 equal to a2 f21 so there are only two surfaces involved so in that case a1 f12 equal to a2 f21 and this equation is very important uh, for our calculation and summation rule the sum of the shape factor from a surface i to an enclosure of enclo to an enclosure to all the surfaces of the enclosure including itself right must be equal to unity so the sum of the shape factor from a surface i of an enclosure to all the other surface of the enclosure including itself must be equal to unity sigma j equal to 1 to n f i j equal to 1 so number of surface n equal to number of surfaces so if you write the equation for these three surfaces so i have three surfaces so from the surface 1 uh, f11 plus f12 plus f13 equal to 1 that means radiation leaving from the surface 1 falling on the surface 2 radiation leaving from the energy leaving from the surface 1 falling on the surface 2 and energy leaving from the surface 1 falling on the surface 3 that is equal to 1 sum of the radiation leaving from your one particular surface as surface and falling on the other surfaces including itself that is equal to 1 and how to determine the shape factor the equations are very difficult to remember and uh, we are not going to use the equations to calculate the shape factor uh, when the geometry is very simple and sm small we can easily calculate but the engineering surfaces are complicated so for all the engineering surfaces we have certain graph so from the graph you can find out the shape factor so when you have the this is the graph shape factor for equal and parallel square rectangular disc so there are disc square 2 is to 1 rectangle long narrow rectangle and this is the on page number 91 on your hidden mass transfer data book the x-axis is the smallest side of the diameter divided by the distance between the planes so here we have 8 graph 1 2 3 4 direct radiation between the planes 5 6 7 8 planes are connected by non-conducting but re-radiating walls so here 1 5 for disc 2 6 for square 3 7 for 2 is to 1 rectangle and 4 8 for long narrow rectangle and the y axis we have the shape factor and this is for uh, shape factor of parallel rectangle in opposite direction and a1 is the area of the this rectangle a2 is the area here and we define smaller side is small a larger side is small b and distance between the rectangles equal to c so we calculate x and y and from x and y we calculate the shape factor using the graph so x axis so b by c and the line for a by c and here you can read the shape factor and this is for shape factor for perpendicular rectangles so the rectangles are uh, connected a1 a2 they are connected for 90 at 90 degree so we have three dimensions small x small y and small z we calculate capital z and capital y and from these values you calculate the uh, refer the chart and calculate the value in the page number 94 or page number 94 95 the same data is available in the form in the table so you can take the value from the table and the shape factor for coaxial disc of different radii so this is r2 and this is r1 so for this case you have to calculate the shape factor from this graph this is on the page number 98 and the x-axis for l by r1 the l is the length between the two disc and r1 is the smaller larger radius and the r2 by l is the line where is the lines for up for the value r2 by l and this is shape factor for short concentric cylinders so we have l length of the cylinder r1 r2 of the cylinder so knowing r1 by r2 and l by r2 we can find out the shape factor and the shape factor f21 and f22 so this is on the page number 104 on the hidden mass transfer 
data book. And these are all the books, reference books I used for the subject. So you can also refer to it for further uh, knowledge. And I have published a book on the subject and you can refer to it for more uh, detailed explanation and uh, uh, problems on the particular topic. So if you have any queries on this topic, you can write to me to my mail ID. I will sincerely answer to your queries. So thank you. We'll meet again.